Hi, man. Listen, new videos. You can see I got my first scrawler box. It's the um, monthly art subscri subscription box that comes with different supplies. So this is last month's box to October. I got to open it up. We got to see. I'm going to flip through the little packet it came with real quick. The supplies. Art of word. We got the scrawler gallery. It features a lot of art. This is actually kind of nuts. <laughs> this is actually kind of nuts. I'm glad they got the tips page too. Uh, I'm going to need that later. I'm going to need it. But anyway, this is the feature artist. You can see his work and the info about him. This is really cool how they had that on the back. Dope. I'm, I'm going to show his art again though real quick. This is a calligraphy themed box too. It seems like, by the way, I forgot if I mentioned that. But I I'm going to just run through the supplies real quick. We got the scrawler pad here. It's like a long one. But let me, let me crack this part open. Let me get these open. So first off, first off, we got the Cali Creative Flexi Markers. Calais created I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong but these are these are 12 colors so for they're mainly for hand lettering calligraphy so I'm gonna definitely use these later next up we got the cure take twin tip marker I'm, like I say I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong but I'm really excited to use this it has another side too that's a gray tip I think for shading next we got the centra pen liner I like the design of it I like the design of it so I'm gonna definitely have to use it and we got the pencil the co I nor B grade pencil it's for like it says for bolder and darker lines so we, we never got to pull it out this is a little card i was reading off but anyway it, it came with a little like scrawler box sticker too that was orange october theme so i put on my fall sketchbook even though i finished up with it it just matched the theme but listen we got to get into you can see a little piece of candy too i lost that i was mad i was honestly mad i lost that through the video i'm gonna have to find that but anyway I'm gonna crack open this little scrawler pad right here and just um lay down the different supplies real quick. Ain't gonna lie, right here in this packet, this this tips page, this is with a page I was looking for. <laughs> I needed this, so I'm gonna use the twin tip marker to practice. Now a little bit calligraphy, the upstrokes, the downstrokes. I never done calligraphy before. You know, I watch um, some of the satisfying videos of people doing it, like the lettering and stuff on YouTube, but I never really got into it, so we gotta see. The uh, um, tip said to put more pressure on the downstrokes and on the upstrokes, you know, a little less less pressure to make it look here, like, so that's what we gotta try to do. I'm gonna write out a word there real quick. I'm actually write right, but I'm gonna just write that out real quick just to, just to see how we're doing. Listen, I, I had trouble doing this, but this was actually a lot of fun writing with this on marker. It, it was like really satisfying for me, but I'm gonna use this gray side just to add a little bit underneath, a little, little shadow underneath, and you can see we got that. We got that done, but we gotta move on. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just rip out one of these pages real quick. I thought about using these as a bookmark. They're like the perfect size for that, but I'm gonna rip out this page and we gotta get to work on here. We gotta start using these markers. Like I said though, this is a calligraphy themed box, so it, the packet mentioned to try to create your art, but use letter forms as the base. So what I did was I sketched out a little flame using a pencil and everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna use letters that make up the word fire to fill it up. So I'm gonna just lay the letters down randomly, put an F here, you know, sketch out an I over here and just like randomly put the letters on top of each other, like exaggerate some of them, just so I fill up the fire to make it like, almost kind of look like a fire real quick. But um, I forgot to mention these markers that I'm using, the creative flexi markers, they only have a chiseled side, but the chiseled side is like really, really flexible. So like, it, it does make it easy to do like lettering and stuff like that. Cause I'm used to like the super stiff um, chiseled side on like Copic markers. So this was, this was the definitely change, but you can see like the feature artist. This is some of his art, how he uses letter forms and stuff. And here, that's what I was going off, but this is how my little flame came out. You know, using the letters and fire and everything. <laughs> but the next one, listen, I got inspired by this little bandana. It was just laying around in the room. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm still gonna use letter forms, like lay down like random letters and stuff, but I'm gonna try to maybe morph them, distort them, exaggerate them to appear more bandana-like. You know, listen, I'm, I'm kind of just freestyling this experiment and seeing what we can get, so we had to try something. You 
can see how it's looking so far. Listen up. I might have to cheat a little bit. I'm gonna pull out a white gel pen just so I can make it appear like a little bit more bandana. Like I know it, the box didn't come with the gel pen. You know, I'm a little bit cheating, but we, we gotta do what we gotta do. Anyway, though, I'm finishing it up. You can see how it came out here. You know, I like I liked using this box. Though. I like trying the new supplies. It was really cool seeing the feature artist is working everything. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna have new videos coming, so please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm out.